Hello everyone, this is GamerCat09, and welcome to the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit. Now, if you are unfamiliar with this title, it just recently was announced at E3 a couple weeks ago uh, from the Square Enix Dot Nod Entertainment, makers of Life is Strange, uh, that this was coming out on all platforms for free for everybody. So, hell yeah, I'm all down for it. Uh, I can only assume that it's about a kid who wants to be a superhero, and I don't really know if there's any kind of connection to Life is Strange. I don't know if there's any spoilers, so just be aware of that if you've never played or seen the other two games of Life is Strange and Before the Storm, um, that it may or may not ruin things. I have no idea, but I have no control over that. I've never played this yet, but we're going to, so let's, uh, begin. Uh, until the first logo is barely visible, make your screen, make sure your screen is set up properly before changing the gamma. Um, I think it's okay as is, honestly, and I don't want to mess it up, so. Welcome to the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit. Square Enix would like to personalize your gaming experience and capture data about how you play in order to continue making great gaming experiences. You can change your mind at any time or review your decision and alter the setting in the Square Enix menu. Hell yeah. Go for it. So let's, let's see what kind of settings we have. Video. Audio. Languages. We want subtitles. I don't want background subtitles, I don't think. So, back. Yes. Uh, control. Okay. Everything else should be okay. So, let's, uh, new game. It's really pretty. This is the first game from this particular engine of Life and Strange that I've played on PC. So the snow is pretty. Somewhere in the desert, there's a forest and a maker before us, but I don't know a tree house. where to begin, but I don't know where to begin. Again, I lost my strength completely, oh be near me, I'm tired old mare. Someone likes play? baseball. I don't know. We've never been here before. Maybe we're on the edge of the universe. Hey, cool. Let's see if we can find some aliens. Hey, the ground is moving. The planet's gonna eat us. We have to get back to the ship right now. Then let's get the heck out of here. Oh no, the control panel's not working. We're stuck in the middle of nowhere! <laughs> Hold on. Let me just give you a hand. Oh, my controller is rumbling. That is so cool! Nice. Yay! <laughs> I love that. Yay! You ha! Woo! We're saved! It's a miracle! No, it's just me, Captain Spirit, who can bend all matter to his will. I did it. I still got the power. Aww. Hmm. 
Now I just need to make a cool costume for Captain Spirit. <laughs> yes, to be a kid again. I gotta have a cool cape to fly. Good thing I have one. Mask or no mask? Secret identity or not? Hmm. hmm. I'm gonna say mask. Yep, looks cool so far. Let's see. What about the armor? Light armor. We're not taking bullets or anything. We're like Spider-Man. Yes, everyone needs a secret identity. I want so one. Cool. <laughs> I don't want anyone to know who I am. <laughs> Could he be dark or colorful? Colorful. Also, he has some pretty cool socks, by the way. I don't know if you saw the socks. They're like, they have a pattern on them. I think it's like basketballs or planets or something. Beware, Mantroid. Watch out. It looks pretty cool. Captain Spirit is ready for battle. Wow. He drew that person, but he wrote, like, Captain Spirit in perfect lettering. <laughs> That's amazing. Hello, Saturday morning. Oh, God. I can God. do anything I want today. I miss... Saturday mornings as a kid. I don't know about anybody else, but I miss mm. it so much. I drawing a manual? Of my power. A drawing? Tattoo! It Hold is LT. time for my secret tattoo. Only my team will know what it means. Ah. Man, I wanted to go to that. But Dad had to watch the playoffs. Super comic store, toys, comics, gaming, sale. 10% 10, 10 to 50% off? Wow. What's in my bag? So glad I did my Hango homework already. Miss Stroud's pretty nice, and she likes my stories. Nice. Ooh, my secret map. The secret treasure is buried out there in the wild. Now, I have to locate the second part of the map. Ah. Hell Volcano, Forest of Trolls, Alien Fields, Green Walker Man, Sea of Darkness, Space Vessel. So I guess that's where, like, the ship crashed or is shooting or landed. Flying Fortress. Castle Fireness. The Maze of Doom, Evil Dog of Satan, the Uni... The Uni... Oh! Uni Arwal. Oh my god, it's like a narwhal. <laughs> Lonely Desert. Dan... The Terry... Terrible? Dan the Terry La Terrible? <laughs> what? Oh, yes, evil dog of Satan. Henry! Sorry, you're too cute to fight evil. Aw, you can stay home, Henry. It's okay. Shark stinger. Basketball? I can throw it. Ah, oh, yes, he has basketballs on his socks. Oh, boy. Aw. Uh, air ball. I should ask Dad to show me again. Damn it. Power Bear and Noctuous. Weapons? What kind of weapons Captain do I have? Spirit doesn't need weapons. Oh. Uh. But just in case. Just in case I need to hit somebody with a guitar. There's a walkie talkie. Bugs Motel? What kind of bugs do we have? Hey, spider baby. I think you caught your <gasps> in your web. Oh, God. And there's a snail moving so fast. He's in one place. Uh, the s <laughs> No, the spider can stay there. I don't want to. No. Suddenly not interested. <laughs> no spiders. Thank you. 
Uh, although, I remember as a kid trying to keep a fly as a pet. That didn't work out very well. Breakfast. No. Be right there. Be right there. Um, walkie-talkie. This is Chris to the Flying Fortress. Come in, come in. Roger, I'm here. I hope so, Sky Pirate. What do you see up there? Have you spotted Snowmancer? Not yet. It's hard because of the storm. This is perfect cover for a Snowmancer sneak attack. I sharp. Keep me posted. Yes, sir. Roger that. <laughs> oh, Thanks, man. Sky Pirate. Over and out. I appreciate I this game. Snowmancer. I used to have such a vivid and wild imagination as a kid, so this makes me so incredibly happy. Hold LT. Oh. Okay. He has a remote in his hand, doesn't he? Yes. Yes, he does. That's pretty cool. Okay, we'll go eat breakfast, whoever you are. I'm assuming dad, but I could be wrong. Next time I tell you to come, don't ignore me. But I... Don't. This isn't a hotel, buddy. I got things to do. Pour yourself some milk. Okay. Sorry, Dad. Hmm. Breakfast of Champions. And you're drinking beer because that's an example for your child? <sighs> What'd you expect? A waffle? Yeah, maybe. It's good. It's good. Oh, you can lie better than that. Dad, I'm not lying. It's just the eggs are good. Listen, buddy, you won't hurt my feelings if you don't love my eggs. I know this doesn't compare to your mother's breakfast. You know what? I'm gonna watch some cooking shows and learn how to be a super breakfast chef. And you can be my official food taster. Deal? That's pretty scary yeah. for a kid. Okay. <laughs> no kid wants to be a taste tester. You're drinking... a uh, plan for today? So, Dad, what's the big plan for today? Uh, big game plan. Even though we'll probably lose again. If I get rid of that coach. Today, I bet we win. Now, that's the fucking spirit. Sorry. Don't swear, okay? I don't. Superheroes don't swear. <laughs> Looks like I'm off the team. Nah. You're cool. Like a rebel. Wow. Hey, is your uh your arm okay? What happened to your arm? Looks better. Anybody yeah uh, ask you about it or uh say anything at all? What happened to his arm? Uh kinda hurts. Well, it kinda hurts a little. Really? I can give you an ice pack and maybe one of my pills. No pain and no swelling. It makes me sad that I... That, that you got hurt. What happened? It's not that bad. I'm fine. But okay, you okay. Bruised. Won't bother you anymore. So, so you must be excited for Christmas. Are you too? Oh yeah, are you excited too? I don't know. Santa probably put me on his naughty list this year, huh? Nah. Santa says you still get a present. 
What do you want? Whatever makes you happy, Chris. That's the best gift ever. Oh, since it's Saturday, are we gonna get a Christmas tree? You said we could get a real pine. Yes, I did, and yes, we are. But I just want to watch the game before we go, okay? But you always fall asleep. <laughs> I you won't drink today. Too much. And if I do, just wake me up and we'll go. Okay. Huh. Okay. You promise? I do. Hmm. This is serious. You saw this. Now go take advantage of your weekend. It's set in Perfect stone now. Perfect outside for you to play. Whatever. You're free. Come grab me later. Frickin' drinking. Milk, full fat. <laughs> this sounds gross. Really? Why? Oh my god. You're gonna pass the fuck out and I'm gonna hit you in the head with like a bottle of soda. I agree. The Disney vibes? What happened to Mom Disney? <laughs> Something happened. Mom's not around. And I don't know if that's Dad or if that's like an uncle or... My god, he even cleans up after himself. I mean, that's good, but... He really takes care okay. of himself. What would Captain Spirit do? The dishes. Mega clean. Crap. Jesus, what was that? Uh-oh. What the hell are you doing in there? I broke a glass. Uh, never mind. Never mind. I forgot I'm a kid. Microwave. Beer cans. Throw them away. Pulverize or toss? Ooh, what happens if I pulverize? The beer can monster cannot be. Crush. Seriously? Damn. Oh, add ice cream. Let's see. What do we need? There. Okay, I'll look at awesome things to do. My awesome things to do. I can make Captain Spirit's costume now. Maybe I can find what I need around. Uh, his treasure is buried somewhere around here. I need to assemble two parts of the map to find the way. I can practice my target skills on these dangerous beer cans. Looks like Snowmancer wants to destroy our town. Only I can stop him. I bet Mantroid is still hiding on his planet. With my full costume, I can use my spaceship and find him. My superhero team is strong, but I better keep my eyes on Mantroid and his supervillains. I could play Muster Party too, but I need to unlock Dad's phone. I can't let Water Eater defeat me this time. Okay, so that's what we gotta do. What's the postcard? I've never seen a beaver around here. Hmm. What's in the fridge? Mac and cheese? Ew. Trash that shit. That's gross. It's like moldy. Trash. <laughs> Zap! The awful green things are flushed into space. Nice. Okay. And he just leaves everything? That's the garage key. Can I take the garage key? Mine. Yes. I have an inventory. Aha. Okay. Wait, what's that? The door? We never use this door in winter because of the snow. Okay. Turn on the light. 
This is... Oh. Add to washing machine. Now you will learn your lesson and stay clean. I hope I set this right. Well, it's all a part of learning, isn't it? Ooh, what's that? Christmas decorations! Dad doesn't want to set up Christmas decorations yet. Oh, so it is his Makes dad. Makes him think of mom. <sighs> Mom's totally dead. Come on. Don't be afraid. Oh, he's afraid of the Go garage. and turn on the heat. Hi, Frostbite. First, Happy Tuesday. Put on your magic cape. I can't go yet. I guess I need like a flashlight or something because it's the dark garage. Oh, that's nice, Chris. <sighs> what do we got? Uh, we have a laptop. Just don't ask for a raise. What's the letter? Dear Charles, we just wanted to let you know how much we both care about you and Chris. I know life has been hard since Emily left us, but we're still the family and we intend to keep it that way. That includes making sure Chris is getting all the care he needs at this fragile age. We've always been honest with you, so please take our concern as a sign of our love the way you loved our beautiful daughter. We also heard through a friend that you were in some kind of bar fight, but the police declined to arrest you. Thank God. Please take care of yourself. To cut to the chase, we want to help, so we hope you will allow us to take care of Chris for the next year, or as long as you need, and consider joining a support group. Oh, man. Grandma and Grandpa are so... Oh, sweet. it's his parents. There's no way I'm ever leaving Dad. We are not judging you in any way, only showing that we care by offering our home and love to your wonderful son. A letter seems impersonal, but we want you to think without pressure. Forgive us if you feel we have overstepped our bounds. This is, the on this is only about how much we love you and Chris. We're here for you both always, Peter. It's nice, honestly. I'm sure I can beat my high score on Mustard Party, too. And the laptop. There's Ooh. the hot dog man. Hot dog man! He's from Life is Strange. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he was. Uh, I can't see Dad selling homes. Get real about your future. Become a realtor today. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Whoa, is he getting us tickets again? Best dad ever. Portland Hero Con, January 15th to 17th. Nice. That would be a blast being a freight hopper. Choo choo. Recently, our Beaver Creek Field Services have received multiple complaints about unruly teenage freight hoppers in the area. They have a minor reputation around the Northwest, so please do not let them provoke you into a confrontation. Instead, if you encounter any problem or situation involving this group, please report it immediately to your supervisor. If you have any questions, please contact me by email or during office hours. Thank you, Mike Stevenson, Operation Supervisor, Northwest Railway. Oh, those are Dad's pages. <gasps> oh, never mind. I thought it was porn. <laughs> I was like, I saw that and I wasn't sure what the hell was going on. I was like, oh man, we shouldn't be looking at this. Um, yeah. Okay. Can we unlock his phone? Oh. Ah, I need a pin code. What is it? Dear Lord. It's like he knows. Soft bullet gun. Shoot dad. He'll get pissed books. Oh, there's a photo. Is that mom? I wonder why dad never hangs out with Nick anymore. Western Land Park. Books. I wish I could have gone on a hike with mom. Oh. This has to be mom's. She liked art. Oh god, I'm getting really weird connection vibes from Life is Strange. Let's check this out. Ooh, that looks scary. I should read that. Dear Lord. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's what I was thinking too, That's Foxy it. Jefferson. 
So it's like, ugh, trophies. And Who's trophies? You shoot the ball. That was so popular. On fire all night. Oh man, what if I just thought of something? I don't want to say anything because I don't want to spoil it or anything, but I'm wondering if this dad was somebody from the Life is Strange universe, was like a popular figure aged with a kid. Hmm, I'm wondering. Dad never smiles like that anymore. God damn, you're on fire. He was in Don't basketball. Go back in time, I'd go see him play. He looks so different in his basketball outfit. Now he's an alcoholic. His whiskey bottle. Fuck, man. Dad. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Dad. Chris, I know what you're doing. Stop. <sighs> Why does he drink that if it just makes him mad? Hey, can you get that? Oh, there's a... Oh. Uh... Hello? Good morning, sir. How are you this glorious day? Um... Okay? Hey, who is that? Who keeps calling? I don't know. Uh... Who is this? Thank you for asking, young man. My name is Derek, and I'm a proud member of the Universal Uprising Church. I'd love to tell you and your family about Jesus, our righteous Lord and Savior. No, thank our you. Our church just wants you and your loved ones to share the Holy Spirit. Spirit? Um, we're just watching the game. Well, always remember that our Lord is watching out for you. By the way, is your mother or father available to speak? Well, I have to ask first. Chris, who the hell are you talking to? Nobody, he Dad. Jesus is... <laughs> Dear Lord. Chris, these are the most important numbers for you on this list. Oh, yeah. <laughs> cool story, Dad. Dead cell phones. Reynolds. I wonder if like seven two four one or it might be seven two four one is his phone thing. Like pizza, maybe he likes pizza a lot. Oh, it was by Jefferson. I just saw that. Seven. Two, four, one. Nope. Shit. Well. Let's take this out. Ugh. I hate that beer can smell. That's how I take care of recycling. I put it outside. <laughs> uh, I'm going. Ooh. The analog. There we go. Keep the house. Oh, can I? No? There we go. Burn it. Never burn. Burn. <sighs> That's pretty cool. Stat book. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, look at the scoreboard, motherfuckers. All Jesus right. Jesus Christ, stop cursing. I'm gonna play with my dinosaur. Dinosaur land is open for business. Eat everybody. I 
am more T-Rex, and you are my lunch. Roar! This dinosaur won't need a grumpy old dad, right? Right? Not telling. Clothes. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, car keys? Oh. Dad, I found your car keys. That's where they went. I swear I had them on me, but they must have fell out of my pocket last night. Just put them in the bowl. Cool? Yeah. Or keep them and learn how to drive without you. What's that magazine? Hmm. I don't think Dad reads these. I think he just takes them from work. The railroad, Earth. It's a stat Dad book. loves his stat notebooks. Hmm. The couch. Yeah, I'm not gonna sit and watch sports with you, Dad. Sorry. Oh, can I? Dad! He's not gonna... Oh, so I missed my opportunity with the whiskey bottle. I see. Okay. We'll put the car keys there. We don't need them. Good job, buddy. But I can always take them. Alright, so... There's a... Oh, there's... Will he get angry? God, it's so bland. The height gauge. I'm too old to be measured now. Right? No. Perfume. I'm glad Dad kept Mom's perfume. It smells just like her. Oh. What happened to her? Ooh. What is that? What, what was that? Yes! Key to what? Light on. I'm gonna waste all of Dad's electricity. <laughs> what was that, a baseball bat? It is a baseball bat. Can I take it? No, just look. I hope I get to go practice with Dad again this summer. Oh, he must keep that to like, knock some people out or something. Mom and Dad would always let me sleep with them whenever I got scared. Oh, man. She's totally dead. Careful of booby traps. Oh, the wardrobe's locked. Ooh, the letters. Mm. Dad never told me he had a new friend. Charles, I'm sorry about what I said the other night. I was just pissed you don't seem to listen to me when I express myself. My job can be very stressful, and I know it stresses you out. So that's why I want to be more involved in your world. I hate to see you get so sad when you make me so happy. I'm still waiting to meet your son, and I get the feeling you might be ashamed of me. Don't be angry. I hope I'm wrong, but you do say things that hurt my feelings. I care for you in so many ways and just had to express myself so you understand. I think about you and me together, so I hope you know this message comes from a place of love in my heart. Your tiny dancer, Audra. Oh, is she a stripper? Or like... Is that... I don't know. The play box! Oh. My. God. Dad actually got me the new play box? No way! Nice. I, I love getting a play box for Christmas. Basketball. I don't know if he gambled, honestly. Wow, Dad had fans when he was playing in high school. Dear Charles Erickson, I am 12 and I want to play pro basketball one day. My parents take me to all your games. You are great on the court. The last game was the best I've ever seen. I hope you are drafted for an NBA team. Thank you and see you in the next game, Todd Hamill. That's scary. <laughs> Are you drinking 
Is alcohol drinking your life away? You're not alone. We can help. Contact Overcoming Alcoholism. Discount rates available. So we moved because dad couldn't pay for the house? That sucks. Oh, man. Mr. and Mrs. Erickson, our records show you have missed your third mortgage payment despite repeated extensions and assurances. While we understand and sympathize with every homeowner situation, our office feels we have been more than fair in granting you multiple extensions. If you do not pay this mortgage by the due date, we will be forced to foreclose on the property. We hope to resolve the issue with you soon. Best clamp properties. Dad got fired? That's when he started working for the railroad. School District Dear Coach Erickson, Although our faculty respects your legacy and dedication, you have been reprimanded more than twice for your aggressive behavior. And with this recent incident involving beer cans in the pool after hours, we feel only option is to terminate your contract immediately. We're sorry for the situation, but in the interest of safety, we know you understand that our students always come first. We included a pamphlet with information on resources for alcohol-related issues and hope you find future success. Sincerely, Superintendent Magnum. Sunny Creek School District. Okay, so it's not Blackwell. But, yeah, he lost his job. He got fired from school. Okay, there's nothing else in here, so. Well, that was insightful. Ooh, there's a turntable. He liked to listen to records. Dad doesn't play mom's records as much as before. Oh, man, smoking. If I smoke in the fortress, I'm breaking the superhero code. Oh, God, no! Don't steal cigarettes! What the hell is wrong with you, kid? Shoot, that's way too high for me to reach. There's a chair here. <laughs> Sports bag. Oh, I could use this to make some cool armor. Hmm. Yes. Yes, this will totally protect me from Mantroid. Okay, that's a good start. But now it's time to build the rest of my costume. Let's move the chair. Dad was so angry at the police. April 10th, 2015. Dear Captain Lee, since you have not answered my calls or emails, I'm sending this letter as more proof that I have been more diligent about this case than you or the police department. It's your duty to keep the citizens and taxpayers safe. I hope to hear back soon, or you will be hearing from me. Sincerely, Charles Erickson. I remember Di yelling on the phone a lot. Mr. Charles Erickson, although I appreciate what you have gone through the past years, I'm afraid that I have exhausted all my resources in regards to this difficult investigation. If you wish to discuss the matter without another angry message, I am always available to talk. In respect to your case, I am only invoicing you for one month's work. Mick Collings, the private eyes? What is he investigating? Jeez. Dad wrote a lot of letters. Dear Mr. Erickson, we regret to inform you that street surveillance data is not available for Asteroid Drive and Mantle Street, nor to the general public unless accompanied by an official state or federal investigation, so we cannot help you with your inquiry. We hope your local Oregon law enforcement will assist you further. What? Did... Did his wife get murdered or something? Or, like, assaulted? Was he trying to investigate something? Or was he just, like, a crazy neighbor who just needed to... I don't know. Let's play a record. Shoot that big 
listen to the whole thing because I got stuff to investigate. But that is a really pretty I song. I love listening to mom's old records. We'll stop it. Otherwise I'll never leave the room. I'll just keep listening to it. Oh, okay, so... Ooh. I've never mark. seen Dad get that mad. It mm. really scares me. Dear yes, Lord. So he has anger issues and a drinking problem. What a great combination. Yeah, you're right. It is similar. It's similar to the band Within Temptation. Ooh, advent calendar. Fuck yeah. Jeez, good job, chocolate hog. Wow. That's my calendar, Dad. No, no, no! Nice. I have a cape. I can feel the energy flow through me. I have the power! One more piece and I'm almost done. Sweet. Wonder where it could be. My favorite book? I've read this one so many times. Where the strange things went. I miss Hal. He feels like he's so far away, even though he lives on the other side of town. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks for letting me read this. Now it's my turn to give you a book to read. Your pal Hal. Aw. I need to find... Hmm. Empty firecrackers. Dad took away my firecrackers when I blew up the garbage can last year. Damn it. Hmm. I wonder where he hid them. At least the forest warrior protect me from the snow ghost. At least. What's what's this wish list? This isn't greedy, right, Santa? Plus, Dad will love that I want basketball lessons. Dear Santa Claus, I think I've been good. Here is my list for Christmas. Hot dog adventures for the play box. Play box console, black. Drawing paper and pens, color, stricken out. Basketball lesson. Sincerely, Chris. Oh, okay. So he he went to write something and he was just like, nah, basketball lessons. Dad said he was going to fix that last month. <sighs> right? No. So I can't even, like, play video games because it's broken. That's why he got me a new play box. So I guess I'm looking for something for my mask. Comic book. I never get tired of hot dog man. Never. The handsome hot dog man. Alone and forgotten. Is that it? The end of hot dog man? Man. I love this issue. Oh, he got all wet. And then a car drove by, honked, told them to get in. They drive away. They could draw like this. And they laugh. And then they... What happens? Oh, evil mustard. They hit evil mustard. And then the car gets ruined. I'm going to crush you like peanuts. Oh, no, not him. It's over. Wait. You're so... Oh, wait, so you're mustard, too. I'm going to empty you big time. I like mustard. Uh. 
There's a submarine in the bathtub. No diving today, Nemo. Okay. Makeup. Almost be mom's. Ooh, now I can use that makeup from Halloween. Oh, or Halloween makeup too. Apply. No one will guess my secret identity now. My suit is almost ready. After I get some paint. I need some paint. There's a razor. I wonder when I can start to shave. When you grow Super facial hair. Can I put stickers on the toilet? I can't believe Dad let me put these stickers here. Maybe he likes them too. <laughs> There's no toilet paper. This is a crime. What the frick? Interview. Welcome to W-H-E-R-O. Today we are honored to have an interview with the world's most awesome superhero, Captain Spirit. Hello, Beaver Creek. Captain Spirit, when do you think you will defeat Mantroid? Mantroid is a bully and a coward. He can't hide, but he can run. We heard reports that he is putting together a team of supervillains. <laughs> Do you have any message for them? I'll crush Mantroid. My message is that Mantroid will never win. And I will find you. And I will crush you. Yes, that is what this town wants to hear. That's my job. And that's why we love you. Can you tell us who your superheroes are? My parents? My parents are my biggest heroes. I bet they're happy to hear that. Can you give us a hint about how you discovered your epic powers? Oh. No. Okay, do you have any final words for your audience? Be nice and always fight for the good team. Thank you, Captain Spirit, for being our hero. And now back to W-H-E-R-O News. Aw. I had an interview. I wonder what the mirror. Now that's a superhero. Okay. Okay. So nothing else around here. That was not a foul. The only room I have not checked. Well, I haven't really checked outside, and I haven't checked this back room yet. Open. Be brave. Scary garage. It is really scary, honestly. It's really dark. Oh. Oh. Oh man. Careful. I think I'm not alone. Do I walk toward it or away from it? I'm assuming towards it. Ooh. Oh, hi. You have the power, Captain Spirit. You have the power. Okay. I'm not afraid of you. You can do it, Captain. I got this. the water tank. Well, 
That wasn't too hard. Sweet. I tamed the water beast. Hooray. Oh, I completed the task. Okay, so now I need to... Oh, so I gotta find all my superheroes. I guess that's the garbage. The snowmancer wants to destroy our town, so to clean up. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Hey, Dad. The water heater was down again, so I fixed it. Wow. You put it back on? Congrats, buddy. I know you hate getting in there. That's right. You praise me. Boring. Local police face more protests and shooting death. Small riots and protests have continued to mount one month after the unexplained deaths of a local man and a police officer. An official statement from the police has not been released, but sources say the man appeared to have been shot by the officer, while the latter's cause of death remains unknown. The Seattle Police Department had been accused by civil rights groups of mishandling the incident, which led to the public protests and rioting. Hmm... Fridge. Nothing. Oh, let's drink. Drink some milk. It's good for you. Mm -mm, I feel the power. Okay, that's it. Can't have mac and cheese anymore. My time has passed. Okay. Use. What can I use the phone for? Can I call someone? Call Reynolds? Call Dad? Call Pizza Delivery? I don't know who Reynolds is. Let's call Reynolds. Hello? Hi, Mrs. Reynolds. This is Chris. C Chris Erickson. Well, of course I know who this is, Chris. What a nice surprise. Who's Reynolds? Okay? Is that, is is that the grandma? Right? Yes. Well, everything's great. I just want to see if maybe Stephen could help me add more stuff to the treehouse. Like when he helped Dad build it. I want to add some booby traps. That is so sweet. I'm so glad to see you playing outside like a real boy. Anyway, what? I'll be happy to let Stephen know his services are required. He loves that treehouse. Me too. Gotta keep the bad guys away. What bad guys? Thanks, Mrs. Reynolds. Who do you mean? Oh, man. I wonder if she's a neighbor and not like Grandma, because he wouldn't call Grandma Mrs. Reynolds. Mrs. Reynolds. Let's call pizza. Ooh, pizza. Buongiorno. Baba's Pizzeria is closed. Damn but it. If you can wait, our business hours are Tuesday through Sunday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. If you would like to leave a message for Augusto, please do so. Pizza? Ciao. That sucks. I am such a bad kid. It's fine. Uh. I don't I don't know what I can't really call dad because his phone's over there. Or maybe oh wait. I call dad, he picks up the phone and then I can watch him put in his password. That's a thought. Can't unlock the phone, huh? Damn it. Okay, never mind. Let's 
Let's go outside. I think I've done just about everything I can inside the house, so... Let's go venture outside. Yep, there's snow everywhere. Hey look, it's Pennsylvania. <laughs> I see this like eight months of the year. RT to run. Oh, this one, yeah. We get mail? We did. No way. For family fun, come play with your gun. Jeez. Oh, I could have gotten to the car. The spirit mobile. It sucks we don't use this landing bay much. It's so cool. Can I go in? Yeah. Oh, I got a key. Okay. Huh? What made that noise? Hello? What critter is residing in here? I can't. Oh, switch. There we go. Who's in here? Mom and Dad always talked about how they met at school. The jock and the artist. <gasps> oh, wait. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, God. I'm having a, uh. Maybe? Wait. Wait. Emily Wyatt and Charles Erickson, Eugene State College. Okay, no, no. It's not anyone I thought. It's not anyone I thought. I got excited for a second. I was like, oh, God. It's these people, but this is not the same school or anything, so I have to remember that. I'm trying to look too into the story to make the direct connection, and there isn't a direct connection, so. False alarm, false alarm. It's okay. Um, 2005. Wow, they were in college, 2005. Excuse me. Never judge two books by their covers is the motto of this odd couple from Eugene, each of whom is making local waves in their respective fields, and why we're showcasing them in this week's Neighborhood Watch. Emily Wyatt is a cartoonist whose witty work about her strange life has been featured in print and on the web, even in the pages of this paper. She hates all sports by her own claims, yet is engaged to Charles Erickson, a local basketball star who some say is headed to the Oregon Ducks. Ironically, they met at the library and found true love among the book stacks while helping each other study for their torturous finals. I'm math and she's art, says a shy, blushing Charles, clearly a man in love, which are actually the same thing from opposite sides, adds Emily with a warm smile, taking her new fiancé's hand. Oh. It was weird having my mom as my kindergarten teacher, but fun. Oh, wow. That's so cute. We love you, Miss Erickson. Emma, Chris, love you, Mom. Aw. My first picture oh, looks wow. so tiny and weird. Maybe I'm an alien baby. Maybe. Coming soon. That's cute she kept that. Ooh. Dad used a padlock. He wants to keep me out. Hmm. So I need a code for that. Now I can color Captain Spirit just like my drawing. Use the paint. I don't know on what, but use the paint.
Oh, he painted the, uh... Gotcha. That's pretty cool. Oh, wow. I approve. Yes, it's actually Captain Spirit to the rescue. In it. Yep. Completed. Time to visit Mantroid's home planet for a change. This is where Mom went to school before we came here. Oh God, she did go to Blackwell. Shit. <laughs> Dear Miss Emily Erickson, as principal of Blackwell Academy, I want to personally reach out and thank you for your continued support of our art program to our prestigious school. We love displaying your work among the long list of other alumni. We have all fond memories of you here, so thank you for thinking of us and hope you'll come to visit the campus soon and see how your contribution keeps our dream alive. Principal Ray Wells, Blackwell Academy, Arcadia Bay, Oregon. Best wishes, Wells. There is a connection! Oh my god! I'm gonna go to art school because of me. But she was already an amazing artist. Uh, Eugene State College. Dear Emily, we received your letter of withdrawal and resignation and first wanted to congratulate you on your forthcoming child. While we are truly happy for you and your family, we are also selfishly sorry to lose one of our most promising students and artists. Your unique and witty illustrations have been well received on campus and in the school paper, so we expect to see more of your work with us and others. Hopefully when you're ready, you'll consider coming back to Eugene State to finish your art degree and further inspire us. If you have any questions, please contact us anytime. Best wishes, Professor D. Jennings. Nice. Oh, wow. I remember when Mom drew that, and Dad couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> Good night. Good night, handsome. <laughs> step one. Freezing cold took all the blankets. Oh, that was step three. Sorry. Step one, you're going into bed. Step two, you're slowly pulling the cover off. Three, he's got the cover off. Completely. Honey, you got a cold again. I told you to eat more fruits. <laughs> I don't get this one. I'm too young. Uh-oh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Isn't it your turn, Mr. Officer? Oh, the parents are having sex and the kid interrupts them. Nice. Parenthood. Yep. All right. Nothing in here, right? That's it. Do I leave foot? Oh, I do leave footprints in the snow. It's pretty cool. Hmm. Let's see what else there is to do around here. Well, there's my tree house. I can check that out. Let's go up the ladder. Yeah, I don't remember an Emily, but maybe she helped contribute to the art program somehow. Maybe she was mentioned. I don't know what the exact connection is. Sky Pirate? Sky Pirate, what's the situation since your last report? Did the storm cause any damage? No, Captain. The magnetic field protected us from any harm. We're lucky to have you. Keep up your good work. Does he have firecrackers strapped to him or something? Secret stash. I'll check that out in a minute. Doll. Dad keeps telling me this is a girl's doll. So what? She's the ice queen. Yeah, so what, Dad? I can play with anything I want. That's Noctarius' son. 
He looks like his dad. Okay. Um, an old bowl. I had to rescue my old cereal bowl after dad used it for an ashtray. Gross. Dear God. There's a lookout. What's in the secret stash? <laughs> Open sesame. What's in there? Pictures? Baseball cards. These are my favorite baseball players. Even if I don't understand the stats. Fair enough. Secret decoder. Now I can use this to reveal the full map to my next adventure. Okay. School letters. Harry did say mean things about Dad. But I can't let him see this. Dear Mr. Erickson, I want to let you know that your son Chris got into a small fight with my son Harry Sorber and his friends after school this week. Chris claimed they were saying inappropriate things about you, but Harry is not that kind of child and only knows you through me. As you might know, Harry is an honor student and a decorated Boy Scout. That means nothing with your child's behavior. Why do people use that like oh well my kids on the national honor society and all that shit and therefore nothing could ever nothing bad could ever happen with my child the famous last words maybe you should talk to chris about his behavior if this bullying continues i'll be forced to speak to his school sincerely mr brett sorber hmm this is my worst report card i'm doing better now physical education Wait, why why did you get a D in physical education? That's a gym. Why? Huh. Also, 322 2015. That was like two years ago. No. Three years ago. So I was twenty seven? I don't know. The, I think the only way you can fail gym is if you don't attend it? Comic strips. I love watching mom draw her comics. What are you cooking me, my sweet Valentine? Your favorite dish. Pizza. Happy Valentine's Day, sweetheart. Aw. That's pretty cool. Okay. My secret stash, everybody. Let's sit over there. I'm just looking around, huh? That's a really nice view from a treehouse, honestly. Amethyst and flowers on the table Is it real or a fable? Well, I suppose a friend Okay. So... Wait. I need two parts of the map to find the way. So how do I? That's not it. Dad keeps telling me this is a girl. I didn't mean to hit that. So what? She's the ice queen. Okay. Let's go down. Can I go this way? No. No, not at all. They have a tree. Everything's decorated. Who's that? Snowmancer! I can't find Snowmancer looking like this. No fair. Alright, let's rebuild them. 
Oh, Snowmancer. This is sad. You used to be a good enemy. Look at you now. How are you supposed to train me to fight Mandroid like that? What can we do? I'll fix your eye. Put your arm back on. Is that a windshield wiper blade? A beer can? <laughs> oh my god, it is. <laughs> Toilet plungers. Oh. Blow them up. Oh boy. Max was going to Caulfield, but Ca wait. Caulfield is Max's last name. Max is going 2013, so if Chris's report card is 2015, then mom attended Blackwell around 1990s, early 2000s. Okay. Now the snowmancer is ready for battle. Unfortunately, I am not. So. I need to better prepare. That's my bedroom. Graffiti. Jerks. Like people don't drink in bars around here. What does that say? W I N O wind why no wind? I don't know. What's this? Junk pile. Totally safe. <laughs> I thought that was a typo. It's all good. Oh, wow. Spooky. Go left. Hearing something. Go right. Left? I don't know if I'm supposed to find something, but... Right? Sounds like it's coming to the right. I think I'm just in a circle. I should try going left twice. You better look at that map again. Where's... How do I... How do I use the map? Not sure. I don't know how to use the map. How do I access the map? I'm just gonna leave. Do I not have the full map? Hmm. 
Hmm. That's the treasure. How do I access the map? Hmm. Open diary tab. I don't have a diary yet, apparently. Hmm. I don't know. It's not safe out there. Yeah, Dad. I know. Okay, so he knows better enough to go out to the road by himself. Just play in the yard. Like a good kid. Let's clear the snow. Someone's got a shovel. Dad won't. Extra bonus points unlocked. Can I... You only did half the steps, buddy. Set up range. Nothing can escape the deadly aim of the beer hunter. Oh. Gotcha. Ooh. Okay, and... Ooh. Yes! Oh, yeah, knock them all over? Oh, one just tipped over. That's bullshit. It. 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 There we go. Pow! Boom! Blam! Recycle that. Recycle that, everybody. I want to do it again. Unlock Dad's phone. So I did that. Hmm. What else can I do? Nothing here. That's a graffiti. Can I do anything with this path? No, I can't even go up it. Hmm. Maybe I want to go in Dad's car. It's like one of the only things I didn't do. And he's passed out. Totally passed out. Of course. Why does he drink that if it just makes him mad? Because. Because of reasons. Uh, I hate seeing him like this. Um. I want to. Here comes the shark stinger. Is that one of yeah, that's one of the characters I needed. Um 
A Viking book. What kind of a Viking would I be? No idea. I hope I can draw as good as mom someday. Aww. Chris, since you're going to be my own superhero, this book is a great start. You could be everything I am not. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life watching you save the world. Love forever, super mom. Aww. Are you ready for the ultimate battle of good versus evil? Nice. You can't win this battle, Nocturus. Oh God, the angry Daddy bear head. Power bear. Cool. Cool. Don't let Mantroy control you. Nobody controls me. Mantroy is my leader, and he wants you to die. <laughs> Give up now. We don't have to fight. You're not the boss of me, Power Bear. Why, Mantroid? Mantroid is your boss now. Why did you join his team? The same reason you joined Captain Spirit's team. To win. Captain Spirit has helped the world over and over. Liar. Where were you and Captain Spirit when Mantroid saved my life? Huh? Good guy? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Nocturus. You want to be there for everybody. You're the enemy. Now take this. <laughs> Hitting each other. <laughs> By hitting you! Move. Captain Spirit! Captain Spirit! Please come to my aid! I can't defeat Nocturus on my own! I can't! Captain Spirit! Release him! Release him, Power Bear! Oh yeah! Captain Spirit's got your back, loser! He decided to spare you! That's a real hero! Now go back to your master! Me and Troy will get his revenge! For me! <laughs> for me! Thank you for keeping me from the dark side, Captain. Aw. <sighs> what else can we do? Comic books, DVDs. Hmm. This is a perfect day to watch Frozen. Last time Dad told me not to sing along so loud. <laughs> let it go, let it go. Mom bought me so many cool comic books. She told me never throw them away. I won't. That's pretty awesome, honestly. Oh, what's that? Slippers. No superhero should wear those. But they're so comfy. <laughs> Purple bear slippers are the best. Well, while Dad's sleeping, I'm going to take his car keys. And then I'm going to go back outside. We're going to go to the car. The truck, rather. Super drive. Come, Mantroid. Nice. Come on, let's get going. This is Captain Spirit. You copy. Are you there, Sky Pirate? Captain Spirit, I read you loud and clear. Are you sure you want to go on this dangerous mission? Don't worry about me. Mantroid is the one in danger. Gotta do a quick system check first. Instrument panel, check. Force field, check. Proton missiles, check. Skate pod, check. Windshield wipers, check. One's Everything missing. Looks good. Start the launch. We're going faster than light speed. 
What's that ahead? Oh no! Meteor shower! Turn on the force field! Nice. Too late! Emergency! SOS! Crash landing! Ah! Whoa! Not the force... well... I wonder how many ships Mantroides crashed on this planet. Oh man. Never mind. <laughs> I landed safe. Time to explore! Oh, it's young again. Ooh. The planet is so dark. And the sky is so red. Like blood. That's I pretty cool. Android lives here. But how could anyone live here? It's kind of sad and lonely. Hmm. Am I allowed to explore? Yes, I am. What's that sound? I don't know. Something is coming. Or somebody. I must be on a different planet, so I'm like walking without gravity. Oh. Mantroid, show yourself, you coward! It's gonna take a bazillion years to get over there. Oh, you're not. Captain Idiot. <laughs> I don't have to get away because I'm everywhere. How is that Fight possible? Instead of hiding. Oh, is this the street corner that they're talking about in the papers? Oh man, are we gonna see some freaky shit? Street, Asteroid Drive. Oh man. Is that where mom died? You will pay for what you did, Mantroid. I swear. Oh boy. Okay, so we we visited that. All right. I can just inspect it. 
There's something in there I can read. I hope Dad doesn't get in trouble because of me. Dear Mr. Erickson, this is Dr. Tamara Fallman of Beaver Creek Social Services. As a representative of the county's elementary school districts, we would appreciate if you could arrange to come in with your son, Chris Erickson, for a meeting on Monday afternoon, 2.15, at our local office at 277, 2775 Water Street. If you have any questions, please call our office at 555-687-2006. Oh, boy. Hope it's nothing bad. But it is, because child services. They probably know he's an alcoholic, and... And yeah. But seriously, oh, the map is in my bedroom. I'm just realizing this. However many people were already yelling at me for it. So I gotta go into my bedroom. I gotta take a look at this map here. Time for Captain Spear to put these pieces together. Time for Captain Spear to put oh. these pieces together. Oh. Um. I have to place it right. Is it like... Wonder... What is this outlining over here on the right? Is there a little M anywhere? What would this... What would this giant thing in the corner symbolize? Hmm. Maybe I gotta... Place this somewhere. No. No. This can't be that hard. <laughs> I'm probably just making it this hard. Am I trying to align the shapes? Or match the numbers one yeah maybe okay so it's so one is left two is right three is left, four is left. So it's left, right, left, left? Probably. Left, right, left, left. Alright, time to go back outside. Yeah, you were right, Foxy. It's gotta be what it is. Oh, wait. Out here. I'm all turned around. So. Let's try this again. Left, right, left, left. Alright. So it's close by guessing. Left. Right. And 
left. And left. There we go. Made it to the other side. Huzzah. something in the snow oh what is that Who's the boss? Saturday's homework. You'll never see us again. Aww. Merry Xmas. smile so what's left unlocking dead cell phone I have to defeat the snowmancer Now the snowmancer is ready for battle. But I can't do anything with him. Ooh, it's like a little ice pond. Creepy tree. Oh my god, the lake demon is rising. Okay. So. I gotta figure out how to unlock Dad's phone. Somehow. There's gotta be numbers somewhere. Trinket bowl. Put back the car keys. It's like they never left. And then look at the phone numbers again. Chris, these are the most important numbers for you on this list. Oh yeah. <laughs> cool story, Dad. Nine four five two. Let's try that. Maybe. I'll try those next. Nine, four, five, two. No. And Chris, these are the most important numbers for six, you on this list. Three, seven, two? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. cool six story, three seven two. Six, three, seven, two. No. Hmm. Would it be on the computer? There's my hot dog man. I can't see 
Whoa, is he getting us? That would be a blast. Oh, those are Dad's pages. I wonder if he wrote it down as far as scores or something. Dad loves his stat notebooks. Can't look at it. Hmm. Picture. There's gotta be numbers around here somewhere. What other phone numbers are there? Chris, these are the most important numbers for you on this list. Oh yeah, <laughs> cool story, Dad. Not sure. Are there any numbers that would be important to him? I've never seen a beaver around here. Hmm. Oh yeah, did the trophy have a year on it? That's a good idea. Dad was so popular. 2005? Yeah, you might be right. It might be like 2005, the year he got like engaged and stuff. Let's try it. Nope. There's gotta be other dates around here. Let's look at the photo. I wonder why Dad never hangs out with Nick anymore. Those are just books. Dad never smiles 2005. like that He's holding up three fingers. He's, well, that's four. He's holding up three fingers. There's a number seven on his jersey. If that counts for anything. If I could go back in time, he looks so different in his basketball outfit. Hmm. Is there only... Those two? Dad never smiles like that anymore. Hmm. Championship owner two thousand five. Huh. I'm honestly not sure. What happens if I wake Dad up? Dad, you, you sleeping? Of course he is. Hey, wake up. Dad, come on. You promised. Huh? What? Who's there? Who's that? Dad, it, it's just me, Chris. Whoa, whoa, hold on, buddy, okay? Jesus. What? Uh, Dad! Oh, Lord. Uh, uh, fuck! Dad, are you okay? You're drunk. Do I look okay? No, I tripped. Can't even watch one goddamn game. You, but you did, and you fell asleep because you're drinking. Uh, fuck! That's just great. Uh-oh. Oh, I think I sprained my foot. Shit. Chris, why did you wake me up? Because you promised? You, you told promised? me to wake you up. I thought, I thought you said the pine tree. <sighs> pine tree? I can't even walk in my own house, man. You should be careful when you're, you know, when you wake up. Don't be a smart ass, Chris. I'm not in the mood right now. Yeah, Dad. Okay. Uh -oh. Jesus Christ, who is that? 
Is this services? Go enter. Child if it's some salesperson or some church group, you just close the door on them. It's nobody's business. This is our castle, and it's our family. Right? Right. Shit. Hi. Oh my, look at you. What kind of costume is that? I'm Captain Spirit. Of course you are. We need all the superheroes we can get. And how are you doing, Chris? Good, Mrs. Reynolds. Oh, uh, okay. Just, just. Just? Video games. Just hanging out playing video games. You boys and your video games. You should play games outside like we used to. Like your dad used to. Oh, I know, I know. I'm old. But I did see you clearing that snow off the front porch. So good of you. Aw. Actually, I was going for a nice walk and I thought I heard a loud noise over here. God, are, okay? are these walls paper thin? Uh, uh, we didn't hear. Yeah, of course. We didn't hear a noise. Are you sure? Lordy, I thought, I don't know, but it was loud. And there's no other houses around. You probably heard me and my dad watching the game. We kind of go crazy, so. Hmm. You're not the only one. I must be hearing things. Oh boy. I hope you have something else planned for today. Buy a pine tree. Oh yeah, me and my dad are gonna go buy a real pine Christmas tree. Oh, that sounds like fun. Steven and I better get one so we can start decorating. Oh, I love this time of year. Me too. And Dad said we could get the best Christmas tree on the lot. Aw, you certainly deserve the best Christmas tree. And if you need any extra decorations, we have a surplus. Ooh, that would be awesome. Well, I'm glad to see you're taking care of your father. Of course. We're both on the same team. You're a good son, Chris. Aw. Listen, Chris, I'm only steps away from your house. If you ever feel scared, you can come visit us anytime, day or night. Understand? We're here for you. Okay. Sure. Thanks. That makes me a little concerned. Thanks, Claire. I promise I'll see you later. Why would the neighbors be very concerned of my well-being with my father? That scares me. God damn it. So what did that nosy bitch want? N nothing. She's oh, nothing, a nice huh? person. I was listening. I heard it all. Oh. You could have gotten rid of her. I did. I tried. Man, I bet you want to tell her what a shitty dad you have. Huh. No, I... she just wanted to say hi. I didn't say anything, Dad. I swear. This is Dad, how he got bruised. Please believe me. Jesus, stop that whining. You're not a baby anymore. Oh, boo-hoo, Daddy. Believe me. Grow up. But I... And just... Just like your mom. Every time I look at you, I tell me you talk. Stop it. I just, just, I see your face. Uh-oh. Why? And if it wasn't for you, she would have never taken the car that day. Never. Oh, God. Oh, hey, Chris, look, hey, I didn't mean that, buddy. Yes! Yes, you did! No, listen, Chris! Oh, man. So it was a car accident. And the bruising's from him. <gasps> oh no! A 
Oh no! Whoa. Wait, did that really happen or was... Is he really developing powers? Door. Huh. To be continued. Hmm. Well then, that was interesting. I have a feeling that a little bit more can be unlocked if we actually complete all of our awesome adventures. Uh, or awesome things to do, rather. Well, that's really interesting. I wonder if this will tie into Life is Strange 2. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to wait and find out, but yeah, very interesting. Well, it it was kind of expected what I, I I figured it was about a game of pretend also that's that's a dog <laughs> a doge rather um, I kind of expected it to be you know just surrounding a kid in a wild imagination which it was I do like how they incorporated um, some like goals and things to do, tasks to complete, so you weren't just wandering around doing nothing. And I love the blur between pretend and reality, and it made it super interesting. I like how they told the story through the kid and not necessarily, you know, through other people. Like, it was about finding and investigating and exploring and actually like developing the story of Captain Spirit which led you to kind of have a realization of what happened and it just goes to show that he really valued his mom and really cared for her that he wants to be just like her and his wild imagination helps him escape the kind of life that he's living with his dad because his dad is super fucked up without his wife and unfortunately Chris can't do anything about it because he's a kid so he just kind of has to put up with it and take care of his father so he can continue living with him it's it's sad but I mean this is this is probably a very realistic situation that happens to a lot of kids today um also, I love that man bear character. <laughs> I love his design. It's pretty cool. Um, but I liked it. I, I liked it. It's a, It was a short little story. It didn't really have too much to do with either or, at least as we know. But it was interesting. And I liked it. Definitely appreciated some new environments and characters from the Life is Strange world. I like the subtle hints and the subtle connections to the Life is Strange games of Hot Dog Man and Blackwell Academy and like stuff like that. Um, I'm hoping they do something to incorporate this story into Life is Strange 2. That would be really cool if it was just kind of like a like a little like subtle nod, like Captain Spirit poster or something. Even that would be pretty cool. Um, but I'm definitely going to have to play through this on my own and see if I can unlock uh, the other things. I think there was only two things I missed. I didn't, I didn't uh, defeat the snowman dude and I needed to like, there was, there was another thing I think I didn't do. 
Well, regardless, it was just those two things. But I like this. I like this a lot. It does make me think on if the father has some really important connection to the, the Life is Strange storyline. I feel like the dad and mom should in some way. Maybe it'll come to play later or I'll have to kind of look up what other people are saying on this and see what people's theories are. But I'm sure the universe is blowing up with who these two could be in Blackwell Academy. Um, but def definitely a nice little freebie. I, I really enjoyed this. This is, this is by no means any kind of spoiler for the game, per se. So if you've never played Life is Strange, then you can safely play this. Um, if you do play the games, you can kind of have a little bit more of a deep appreciation into some of the backstory of, like, Principal Wells from Blackwell Academy and Hot Dog Man, but it won't ruin anything for you. Um, trying to find other things to talk about because these credits are going on insanely long. Um, Yes, thank you, Foxy. The dad cell phone was the other thing I didn't unlock. So there's got to be a combination of numbers somewhere in that house that unlocks his cell phone, or there's got to be some way to see him use his phone and unlock it. I'm not sure. But it wasn't any of the numbers that were on the piece of paper by the phone, so it wasn't those. So I'll have to see which ones it could be. Jonathan fell. How unfortunate. Doug Bone, Diego Hernandez, Warren Perdon, Toby Coleman, Jason Brooks, Brian Josawong, Josurawong, Keith Hershey, Tiffany Pasiano, Ponciano, sorry, botching names, <laughs> Adam Sullivan, Brian Hotdogman Finkelstein. Sarah Kramer, Patrick Soon, Andrew Barty, Kimberly Lifshitz. It's the Lipschitz, it's Lifshitz. Jameson Mars, Tim Ward, Mark Hall, Matthew Ruse. I've never seen Matthew spelled that way. That's interesting. Edward Mercer, Killian Lamana, Jack Tompkins, Starvos Kleck. Klekos. I just spit across the room. Christopher Windsor, Ashwin Patil. Man, there was a lot of people that put this little tiny game together. And that's, yeah, I, I agree with Foxy. I still wonder if he really developed powers at the end or whether that was still just his imagination. I like to think that the intense situation that was going between him and his dad forced him to develop actual powers. That would be really cool. But then the neighbor's reaction to... Chris didn't really give off like a, whoa, look what that kid did. It was just kind of like, oh, hi. So maybe it was in his head or maybe no one saw it. Um, but that's the mystery, I guess. Or, or it's kind of open-ended to leave you to believe that whatever you believe in has happened. I, I, I like to think that he developed powers. Because all superheroes gain powers mysteriously because of some, you know, incidents or coincidence. Usually they develop powers. They don't just, like, wake up one day, oh, I have powers. <laughs> like, it usually is because of something. So, I hope he got powers. That'd be pretty cool. Having Captain Spirit powers. But now if they mention Captain Spirit in Life is Strange 2, I'll be so super happy. Um, so I'll definitely have to replay this a couple more times and fully explore the story. God, this is really long. <laughs> I want to leave, but I also want to give credit to everybody. I don't want to just walk away from this. It's a lot of people that put their heart and soul into this little tiny free game. Edward Buffery, Valentina Malaga, Thomas Gilman, 
Tanja Gerke. Gerke. Do we know anything about Life is Strange 2? Not that I'm aware of. Um, I do not think it will have anything to do with Chloe or Max, unfortunately. Um, they said that they're going to start revealing trailers, I guess, and stuff about it in August. They, I believe, are taking pre-orders because it comes out this September. But I don't believe there's really too much said about it at all. So I have no idea if it includes any of the characters from Life is Strange. Or if it's going to be a whole new crew in the same school. Or like kind of like a follow-up situation. I don't know. It's kind of all up in the air. But I'm definitely going to be checking into some forums and blog posts and see what's happening. Okay. So... I did not do Mustard Party 2, and I did not beat the Snowmancer. Oh, yep, meet Chris again in Life is Strange 2. Nice. So that answers my question that Chris and this story might return in Life is Strange 2. So this is kind of a little bit of a tidbit taste to the sequel coming later this year in September. I don't remember the exact date, but uh, it's definitely going to be fun, and I'm excited for it. So if you are a fan of Life is Strange, I highly recommend that you download and play Captain Spirit, because it will be important. And play Before the Storm, Play the game multiple times. Get the endings. If you've never played the game for yourself, but you watched it, buy the game and play the game. It is so worth it. It is so much fun. Not just this, but Life is Strange. The whole series is just so amazing. And I highly recommend that you get involved and get on the Life is Strange feel train because it is not stopping anytime soon. <laughs> But that concludes tonight. Uh, it concludes tonight's stream, and it concludes this of Captain Spirit. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you had fun with this little tiny adventure, and definitely look forward to some more goodness in, was it like three, four months? Something like that? Yeah. And I do know... I will make note, I do know that I still have to replay the alternate endings of Life is Strange Before the Storm. I have not forgotten about that. I am going to get back to that. So if anyone was waiting around for that, that will also happen. And I will get that done before Life is Strange 2 comes out. But, yes. Good night, everyone. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody. And bye bye <laughs>